Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is the second of my Moon Legendary Lost Sector series. This is K1 Logistics. Now, a little bit different from yesterday's, which was K1 Communion. I just felt like the enemies were like really tough. They'd done a lot of damage. The champions and the ads sticked, stuck quite close to each other. So, the other the other difference is I got a comment yesterday on the video asking me, you know, about doing runs without using Arianas. Now, Arianas is such a good multi-purpose weapon, that's kind of why I use it. But, in today's video, all legendary weapons, legendary scout rifle, sidearm and sword. I've went with the, the hunter for the invisibility, but you can change before you get to the boss. Make the boss fight a little bit easier. As you can see, I've went with tether, top tree tether. Uh, controlling the adds is really good at the boss, the invisibility. I've got 70 odd mobility, so I'm, I'm getting my dodge back quite quite quickly. Uh, Patreon and Lost Causes, uh, and as you can see, I'm using Translation Theory, which is the sidearm, Dreaming City sidearm. Uh, my 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 scout rifle has Vorpal weapon and explosive rounds, so I'm starting with explosive, and then I'm going to switch to Vorpal. You don't have to do that. I just decided I was going to use Vorpal for the boss, since I didn't I didn't have a dedicated boss weapon. So as soon as we get in here, you're gonna see, as you can see, you can see ads straight away. I tr I'm just trying to thin them out a little bit. Any ads I can see straight down there, I'm gonna I'm gonna take out from here, and it just gives me less to deal with. The last thing you want to be doing is running down there and having to deal with mass ads. Now there there, there are gonna be ads being shielded by the champion, but we're gonna try and deal with that. As you can see, the side arm's pretty good just for normal ads. Uh, the the elite ads very good for just melting. I mine has full auto on it. So now there you go. That's perfect. That that is what we didn't want to deal with. That's kind of the problem. So what we're going to try to do is I'm I'm just gonna I just want the champion to move. Now when you do a bit of damage to the champion, the champion does go up top. So, I'm just waiting to get my invisibility back. There are some enemies up top that I'm waiting for. Just keep yourself in cover. Pick off ads as you're going. Now, just, I, I also get a lot of comments with people saying, oh, you can just run past that. You can just... Yeah. I, I You probably could. You can't run past these bits, but you probably could just attack and just... You know, get past things. I mean, at the end, I'm pretty sure if you kill the boss, that's the end of it. You can just go and get the chest. But for the bounty, you need to kill the champions. So there's just no point, no point in running past them. Now, what I'd done there was I, I enticed the boss. When I was going invisible, the, the boss didn't really know where I was. So he was shooting at the last place I was. Now he's come up top. Now I can take him down. So a couple of hits, back away with the sidearm, take his shield down real quick, and then fi finish him off with the sword, which means then you can go down and finish the other ads off with the sword. You don't want to be just running into the ads because they've really done uh, uh, they've done a lot of damage. Now my scout rifle's only I say only it's it's nine seventy. It's not it's not a thousand and odd. So it did lower my light a little bit. But doing doing this strategy, you could probably do it at, at any level. So I'm just these solar shanks. I'm wait. I I did think about just attacking them with a sword, and it just seemed like suicide. There was too much, too many var variables to die. So I just waited on them pushing me. Now I'm waiting for the exploders. There we go. Because the way I like to do things, I like to do things without dying, because I I figure that, and I've said this before, and I'll. You know, it's it's kind of a staple of how I do my guides. Even on these lost sectors, if you're learning how to do these by staying alive, it transfers to other to other activities. And it's efficiency. You know, the lot the more activities you can do by staying up, you know, staying alive, and the more you can learn to do stuff without dying to just to get through it, the more stuff you'll be able to do. It, it's just it's you know it's a it's a good practice to learn. So as you can see, I'm just picking off, I'm just making sure there's nothing up top. My scout rifle is allowing me to attack from range. I know that there's a champion here, so I really don't want to be attacking the champion and be melted by these ads. So now I'm going to run up. I've dropped quite a decent bit of heavy. 
And especially these champions, if they move too far away, they can really hurt you. Because their shotgun is really strong. So I'm just going to collect this heavy outside. That's the first section clear. And we'll move on to the second section. Similar fare. Just want to see if we can take any ads from range. The boss battle is probably where the majority of this takes place. Because we are dealing with a scout rifle. Now, the reason I, I, I brought the scout rifle is because, as I say, this close proximity, this is going to be nasty. You know? So I didn't really want to get involved in that. But you probably could just change weapons. When you get to about here, if you've got heavy, you could change weapons. I decided, because I started it with this loadout, I'd finish it. You could change to a rocket launcher. You could change to any any long-range weapon you want. Now I'm going to go down here. I know I'm going to get some ads pushing out. There we go. Just a couple of ads here. Push a little bit with the sidearm. Now, the server does a lot of damage. So you need to be careful for the server. So if went invisible, I'm just going to... I know that there's a, a nightmare around here somewhere. There he is. So, big hit on the nightmare. And that's that's those ads down. Now we've got some... Sh now once we kill this, this guy, we've got some shanks to deal with. Solar shielded, as I knew they would be. Just checking to make sure we're clear. And the sidearm, the sidearm kind of finishes them off relatively easily. I didn't expect the Nightmare Shank to be solar shielded though. That was quite a surprise when I seen that. I didn't expect that. So take the shield down. Now I don't know if it's because I put consistent fire on. But the Nightmare Shield never seemed to come back. So I don't know if it's because I kept my damage on. But anyway, explosive rounds. I will change the Vorpal uh, for the boss. And that's... Once this, once, this, uh, once this shank goes down, so will the shield. Now we'll change to Vorpal. Now, kind of the idea... One of the reasons I never changed... And you can. This would be a great time to change. Well, actually, before you came in here would have been a good time to change... The reason I didn't change is because I felt like I could take this server down with, with the scout rifle. But more so, he gave me more time to show how the ads behave here. And how you can literally just clear up all the ads and just leave yourself in the boss. You know, I also didn't use any of the... Any of the, uh, the different things that are in, in here to help you, like the heavy frame and... The Valkyrie, I purposefully didn't use those. I, I haven't used them in, in any video. Because not everybody will have unlocked them. And it's all sort of short. You know, what, if you watch a guide like this, and I'm not saying it's the greatest guide. It's not the worst. But if you, if you watch a guide like this, this will give you an idea of how the actual encounter works. And once you've got the, the knowledge of how the encounter works, where the ads come from, how they move... You can then come up with your own strategy on how to make this faster. You know, I don't really do speed runs on things. You know, I don't like to do them super slow, but I d I'm not really, my guides aren't really, this is how to get through this fast. So we're going to try and take this captain down. Now, as you can see, the captain was glitching about a little bit there, but I think I've put him into a state where he can be finished. Just take this shank down. I think he can. I think I can perform a finisher on him. Invisibility finish, and then it's back to the boss. Now I'm keeping my super purposefully because, at one point, see as you as you can see there, I could have put put out a heavy frame, but I'm not. I'm, you know that if you guys want to do that at this point, it would it would help you a great deal. But as you can see, Vorpal weapon is starting to tear into him a little bit. Then he's, I'm waiting for him to teleport, and it, uh, he will teleport over to where the rest of the ads are. Then I can tether them all, and do that damage transference. So any 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 ads that I kill while tethered will transfer damage to him, and vice versa. So as you can see, just looking to see where he is, because with dodging I lost him. <laughs> and he's, he's over there, and he, 
So the tether will un untether ads from him. And we'll throw a grenade on him. As you can see, the damage is getting transferred from him to the ads. And there's the cap, the, the champion. And he nearly killed me because of that teleportation thing. So my my suggestion for those is try and go invisible as close to the champion as you can. And as you can see, it took quite a chunk of his health away. So I'm not I'm not too worried about melting him. You, but like I say, you could at this point you could change to Golden Gun, or you could have changed to GG and with Celestial Nighthawk. You know, change to a different heavy. You know, arc, green, arc grenades. If you've got the mods, will suppress the champions as well. So th there are there are uh, different options. But as you can see, I mean, I don't know if it, I don't know how much it transfers to video, but it seemed like the Vorpal was doing really good work against him. Just stick a grenade on him as well. At this point, I knew I was going to kill him pretty easily just doing this. You know, and I know there's other ads up. And then I expect him to go into hiding. Because it's the way the fallen enemies work. So. There's a champion. So we can literally, if I wanted to, I could have stayed at range. And. I could have stayed at range. And just, uh. And just took the boss down and then took the champion down. Or just took the boss down and then went and got the, the chests. But for the bounty, you want to take the champions down. So, dodge reload. I got I got closer to him this time. And now we managed to get the, the suppressant on him. Now it's just us and the boss. Really easy. Really simple. Another grenade for the boss. You shouldn't be able to withstand much more of this than that. That is the run, guys. Remember... You take a lot of damage from the ads. It seems like that's the thing. They really do a lot of damage. So do do your best work from range. And this will be an easy run for you. But right at the end here. I'm going to show you for anybody that didn't know. And there will be new players that have come into the game. That didn't know this. When you get into this lost sector. K1 Logistics. There is a satellite up here. If you come and access the satellite. I can't because I've already done it. If you access this satellite. It will give you a secret emblem. I thought I'd throw that in since we're here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. I hope maybe you've learnt something. But I hope you were entertained. Th I always appreciate you guys watching. If you did enjoy it, a like would be appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video.